Hey, good morning, everyone. It's Coach Chris from ESChannels.com coming at you with a quick technical analysis video. Uh, it's something probably some of you have seen before. I'm not really sure, but if you haven't, uh, this should be interesting. First of all, I just want to, I just pick, randomly picked out, this is the uh, MES futures contract on the 15 minute. I wanted to show you something here. There's a, right here in the middle, there's a formation that you'll sometimes see. It's called a, a Batman formation or an M formation. You can see here it comes up, makes a peak, comes down in a V, and it comes back up. Once you see these three sequences, it's always going to retrace to the base right down here. Let me just draw a quick line to show you where I'm talking about. It's always going to come down till at least there. So if you see that formation of big liquidity, we know it's going to come down. It's not going to be a huge trade, but for a scalp, um, that that's what you'll see. Now, that's not what this video is about. What I want to show you here is a lot of people get confused uh, about the direction of a market. And, and it's such a simple thing, but when you look at a chart, it's hard to say, well, we're coming down, then we're going up, then we're consolidating, then we're coming down. Yeah, that's true. Um, like I said, this is the 15 minute chart, but let's just say we want to really look at what's happening here in the marketplace. And I'm just going to take this area right here as an example. Let's say this time frame hasn't occurred yet. And so you can see we're coming up. And so what we do, um, is we draw what are called channels to see where the market might be headed. And the way I do that, instead of starting over here to the left, I start to the right and look at where the market has been, has been and then go back from there. And what we want to do when we're drawing channels is we want the channel or the, the trend line to, to make at least two points of contract um or more on these candles now you can either go to the top of the wicks or the candle body themselves it's up to you um and i'll show you here in a second what i'm talking about so let's just go and let's make an attempt i'm going to start up here and i'm going to draw here uh there's at least two and so let me just let me just move this down a little bit i'm going to actually go to the tips of the candles here and I'm just going to adjust this angle just a little bit down and this end up. Okay. And that looks pretty decent right there. Okay. You're seeing we got one point of contract, two points of contract, three points of contact, four, five, some wicks very close. And you say, Chris, well, that's great. But what is it telling us? First of all, it's telling us we're on an upward angle, which is pretty obvious, I guess, from looking at it. But it tells us a couple of things. What happens in the market when we touch this blue line? Okay, we get a reversal, right? Look at we come up, boom, back down. Okay, start over here. Up, down, up, down, up, way down, up, way down. Now, the other interesting thing is in TradingView, there's a clone feature. So I'm just going to duplicate. And what it does is it duplicates an existing draw, drawing diagram. And so I'm just going to, I'm just going to duplicate that line and I'm going to put it down here and see what it looks like. See, the market tends to be very symmetrical. And you see, when I put that line down there, you see what we have. We have a beautiful channel, upward channel. Okay. That the market is respecting. Up here when it hits it, it goes down. Down here when it hits it, it goes up, okay? And then we can measure what is the approximate height of that channel. In this case, it's 12 and a half points, okay? So if you're a scalper and you see the market come up to this point and wick through, what would be a good thing to do at that point? Sell, right? You're, not, you're gonna get around a 10 point move. Same down here when it hits, you can buy it. And what's it likely to do? Get a 10 point move or more. Okay. And just think if you started here and did that sold, there's 10 points. You buy down here, there's 20 points. You sell, there's 30 points. You buy, there's 40 points. Trading one ES contract 
okay, at $50 a point, do you understand how much money that is? <laughs> That's 2000 bucks in a, what is that, a three-hour period, okay? Now you start to see the power of this. Then what we can even do, let's clone this again. Say this channel was wider or, or well, look at that. I mean, look at how that, I just duplicated it. It's not quite in the middle, but look at, we, within that trend line, we now have another trend line with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight points of contact, okay? So it's not a fluke. And you can see what, what happens there, okay? Now, also, if you go up here on trading view on this top thing, down here, there is an option called parallel channels. So what you could do is you can draw the line, draw one of the top lines, okay? And then I clicked on it. And notice, I'm not holding anything on my on my mouse or anything. You just pull that down, and it automatically creates the channel, okay? Now, let me just undo this. There is also another option, and it's called a regression trend right down here. And it's very similar to the one I just showed you, with the exception, let me just draw this kind of parallel to that other one if I can. Okay, when I drag it down, see what it does? It automatically filled that in with a linear regression. Isn't that cool? And that's that can be very helpful in times when it's a tricky market, okay? So we start at the top, draw backwards, and the market is symmetrical. These are all things you need to remember. Now, that's the 15-minute time frame. Let's just go, and here here's the thing. A lot of people get confused on this. Okay. So on the on the 15 minute time frame in, in that area, it shows the markets going up. Then people will say, well, they go down to the one minute or the five minute and say, well, Chris, you told me the market was going up, but on the five minute, we're actually going down, which is true because within this candle, the market can be doing all kinds of wonky things, right? All we're looking at, what the 15 minute or the larger time frame shows us is the larger picture, okay? What is happening overall in the market? Now, on the lower time frame, it's gonna do all kinds of things, but in the long term, it is gonna respect the longer time frame. The market is open right now, by the way, and that's why you see that candle moving. Let's just go down to the, um, to the five minute once and let's take a look here if we can get anything of any interest okay so here's the five minute and let's just look at the most recent and i'm going to use this regression channel as long as i've had it highlighted so let's just see here on the lower time frame there we go beautiful so let's just go like that and bring it down okay so based on that and on the lower time frame, which direction do you think the market is headed right now? Okay. Down, right? And if you look, let me just get out my measuring tool. This channel from top to bottom, when we're measuring this channel, we just click on the bottom, go up to the top. It's only about seven, seven. So it's, it's really your risk to reward of scalping this channel is not that great. But what you want to look for when you have a tighter channel like this is breaks above. Because anytime the market stops behaving in a controlled way like it has been, you're looking at a breakout situation. So knowing we have this downward channel, what we'd be looking for is either the market, and let me just get the straight line, trend line, okay? What we'd be looking for is the market to break above this channel, okay, to the upside or to the downside. You can see here it tried to break above, but what happened? It quickly got sucked back in and reversed way down here, right? Now, what we also would like to see, okay, so if it's if it breaks through with any, it can either do one of two things. 
it can continue obviously continue up okay or it can continue down and then what the what the um excuse me i'm trying to manage an order over here So if you hear anything that's just an indicator, um, is to go up, come back, and then retest the top or the bottom of this channel. Same thing if it was down here, to come up and then retest the bottom of that. Then what's going to happen? Is it going to bounce back down or is it going to then go that way? If you have a situation where this candle, for instance, went up, came down, touched the edge of that candle, and then propelled upward, that is an extremely, extremely strong move, okay? That is what we call a retest and run. And then it's the same in the bottom. Say we break through with a candle down, and then it comes comes back up, hits the bottom, and then retraces back down. Very, very powerful. So hopefully this has been helpful. This is a way, there's no indicators on this chart at all. We're just using drawing tools to get an idea of price movement, price direction, and potential breakout trades. So Coach Chris, we will talk to you later.